we've got silt drapes over top because silt drapes are important too, but you can't measure them with a woman. My name's Charlotte. I'm doing my master's in science at the University of Auckland, uh, specifically in geography. So I look at fluvial geomorphology. I'm down in Kaikoura, looking at how the 2016 earthquake down there is changing the river systems. In 2016, there was this massive earthquake. It's actually the most complex surface earthquake that's ever been recorded. Uh, and the impact that that had on the landscapes down there is just incredible. So specifically in my river, there was a huge landslide, and I'm looking at how that landslide is now impacting the river further downstream. So today we're in the Hapaku River, which is where I do my research. We have to helicopter all the way up to the top of the dam because it's actually really tricky to walk up there. There's some really narrow canyon sections. Once we get up, we're going to be looking at the big uh, landslide dam that's up there. It's the biggest one that happened after the Kaikoura earthquake. It's about 23 megatons of uh, sediment. Uh, and we're going to be working through that sediment, sampling, seeing what's going on up there, working our way downstream, and the helicopter's going to have to come and extract us out once we get to the canyon section. It's going to be a really awesome day. Living in a place like New Zealand, it's such an incredible opportunity to go and see these incredibly dynamic landscapes and just the changes around us. It's, I don't know how other people resist doing geography, really. Uh, and I chose to go down to Kaikoura because there's just an incredible amount of really interesting research happening down there at the moment. It's this hot spot of uh, scientific data collection. Uh, so working down there is really great because I have other data sets that can complement the work I'm doing. And also I feel like I'm really adding to such a relevant and important side of interest. I really hope that my work will test some of these new tools that are coming out in geography to do with surface sediment and to do with drone technology. So really trying to push what they can achieve. Uh, and the other thing I really hope my research is gonna do is really understand if this same kind of thing was to occur in a river that was directly running past people's homes, affecting people's lives, how a river responds to these kind of things is really important so that we can, in the future, help manage the hazards. The cool thing about being in the School of Environment is that it is quite a multidisciplinary area and we do get an opportunity to work with lots of different people. So being down in Kaikoura, I'm working with GNS a lot, so I get to use their data, which is really great. When I'm at the university itself, I get to work with eResearch and use their amazing facilities to look at my point clouds. Uh, also, there's some engineers who are looking down in Kaikoura who I've gotten to work with down there, uh, looking at installing seismometers to understand uh, how sediment is moving through that river and yeah when I'm not in the field, I'm using the data I collected, so these nice big point clouds, uh, to really look at the changes that did occur down there. So I'm doing a lot of data processing. And from that, I'm also doing things like mapping, so visually trying to understand the landscape that I'm seeing in these images and trying to use those maps to understand how things have changed over time. Uh, I'm using some of the really top of the line uh, tools that we have at the university to understand the elevation changes and um, yeah just interacting with all my data and then of course reading and writing. Yeah. I really love studying in the Faculty of Science because it's such a nice new building and we've got all these incredible facilities but also within that the School of Environment is a smaller department and it really feels like a, like a family a lot of the time. The students all know each other, the lecturers are really approachable, you get to go on field trips together and actually really get to know each other, understand everyone's research, and it just feels like a really great department to be in a lot of the time. Everyone's there to support you and everyone's interested in what you're doing. I think that if you're going into the postgraduate realm, find yourself a topic that you love so that when you're researching, you're constantly excited to answer your question. If you're in the field of geography, I think that's so easy. There's so many different questions that I would love to answer myself, and I bet there's so many students who are gonna come through and answer those, and that's so cool. But yeah, I'd just say find something you love and find some supervisors that you really, really look up to and are excited about their work too, because they're gonna be the ones that will push you further and help you more. <laughs>